Thank you, Mark. I'm Congressman Don Manzua from 16th Congressional District. Thompson, Illinois is in the Congressional District that I represent. This is a rural area bounded by the Mississippi River nearby, cornfields, so soybean areas, uh, and cattle production. But the area is in desperate need of employment. The Thompson Correctional Facility uh, has been vacant for seven or eight years. It's a top facility, uh, maximum security. It only has about 200 inmates. I was briefed last night by Phil Carter, who is the Assistant Secretary of Defense, um, in charge of detainee policy, and also Harry Lappin, who is the director of the U.S. Bureau of Prisons. These are the two architects of the plan. And here is here's the lay of it. Number one, uh, Gitmo Bay, uh, the reason it is said it has to be closed is that the generals, our generals, have stated that the mere fact that Gitmo exists serves as a recruiting tool for new terrorists. Number two, only one site in this country is being looked at as a as the move to place of Gitmo. Um, in other words, everybody who is at Gitmo would be transferred just to one additional facility uh, into the United States proper. Um, number three, all 215 people at Gitmo are either uh, Al Qaeda or Taliban. Um, number four, uh, I and I asked the um, uh, Mr. Carter. I said, if the generals are concerned that Gitmo is used as a recruiting tool, uh, and because of the intense hatred of these people, uh, they do anything to be able to get to Gitmo, but they can't. But because it's it's bound by water, I said, will their hatred and animosity and stick of Gitmo be transferred to Northwest Illinois. And he said, I cannot answer that. He said, the only thing I can tell you is that they, he said there will of course be additional security issues and he thought that DOD working uh, with local law enforcement could handle that. My big concern is this, if the reason for Gitmo is that it's being closed is because, because it's a recruiting tool. Gitmo is not being closed, it's being moved to Northwest Illinois. And the terrorism threats to Gitmo and the people who have become terrorists because of Gitmo, that hatred and animosity will also transfer to Northwest Illinois, thereby making this area of the country and the entire country a magnet for terrorists. I, uh, I talked to Hardy Lappin, who is the in charge of the Federal Bureau of Prisons, I said, Mr. Lappin, I said, you're here. Um, what is what is your situation? He said, we are 37 uh, percent in uh, in excess capacity. He said, we desperately need more more room for prisons because we pick up six to seven thousand additional ones each year. And I said, if the issue of Guantanamo Bay detainees were separated from that of opening up in this prison. I said, would you be interested? He said, yes, he said, because the Thompson facility is state of the art, it's turnkey, you could walk right in and not have to do any remodeling uh, at all. And so my position is simple, sever the two. It takes an act of Congress in order to bring those Gitmo detainees to the United States. Uh, this is President Obama's home state. The people of Thompson, Illinois are in desperate need for jobs. Why saddle them with the responsibility of having to live in an area that could easily be one where terrorists could strike? Let's separate the two. This is not a package deal. And I don't know who came up with that with, with that statement. Anything is possible when you're dealing with the governor of the state of Illinois, or more preferably with the president who understands that. And so my effort and our effort here will be to separate uh, the, the Guantanamo Bay element from the desperate need for jobs in Thompson, Illinois, and the desperate place for beds for the federal prison system so that the economic development that occurs as a result in Thompson will not be based upon or subject to any terrorist threat. The, um, you should also know that there will be 600 to 1,500 soldiers 
that will be placed at the facility in order to uh, in order to guard uh, guard uh, the people from getting them. That's about a ten to one ratio. Ten guards for every one uh, terrorist. On the federal side of it, you have about one guard for every three prisoners. To give you an idea of the intensity uh, uh, of the people with whom we're dealing that are coming from in town of Bay. My farm is probably 50 miles from uh, from Thompson, Illinois. Galena, Illinois is not that far from there. Galena is the number three spot in the state of Illinois for tourists. And that's all we need in northern Illinois is to be known as, as the Gitmo North, the place that, re, that replaced Gitmo along with all the baggage and the savagery of the stigma going with it to imperil the people that I represent. We can have economic development, we can have security at the same time. What do you do with the 215 people that are present at Gitmo? It started out somewhere near 800. 500 have been released, and according to the Department of Defense, at least one-fifth has returned to active terrorism. That's the nature of the people with whom we are dealing. I see no reason why Gitmo cannot remain open. It's, it's taken no new prisoners since 2007 until such time as the fate of these remaining 215 are taken care of. I, uh, <clears throat> I'm a senior member of the Foreign Affairs Committee. I sit on the subcommittee on terrorism, nonproliferation, and trade. And the study of Al Qaeda and terrorism to me did not happen, did not first start on 9-11 of 2001. It's been continuous for the last 16 or 17 years. I was just in Northern Africa. Tunisia uh, and Algeria. And a week before we got into Algeria, there were 23 gendarmes who had been killed by Al Qaeda. And these were the people that were guarding uh, the Chinese workers who were building the massive the highway system all the way across northern Africa. Al Qaeda is everywhere. Uh, there are sleeper cells throughout the entire world, many of them within the United States. Congressman Kirk said, when you enhance one facility, especially the fact that there could be up to 215 uh, hardcore Taliban Al Qaeda terrorists at one place, the largest concentration of, 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 of imprisoned terrorists in the United States, and the hatred, coupled that with the hatred of worldwide terrorists, terrorists having towards Gitmo which will transfer to Gitmo North, that makes for a very, very dangerous situation in the area where my constituents live. How can it be then, Congressman, that the citizens of Thompson seem to want this deal to go through? Of course they want it. They're desperate for jobs. But when I talk to them and say, how would you like to have a federal prison opened here uh, without the threat of Al-Qaeda, and they rejoice. I mean, it, it takes years of studying Al-Qaeda and terrorism, as I have done, to understand the massive threat uh, to the people who live there and to the United States as a whole. And we've been begging the state of Illinois to offer that prison to the federal government. And the state of Illinois has continuously refused to do that. Because we know that the federal government should have more money. They obviously have a lot more people to incarcerate. But we cannot jeopardize the safety and security of the people in exchange of a promise for a job. The jobs can be had at the same time we keep the people safe and secure. So is that the reason why it sits relatively empty over there? Because you guys have been offering up for years to the federal government and they have declined? No, why does it stay empty? In, in the great wisdom of, of, uh, of the people who run this state, the Governor Bogovich, the, the, the uh, prison was built, but not enough money was ever set aside to operate it. There are about 200 uh, minimum security prisons, prisoners there now, uh, with a very small amount of, um, of staff. But this state-of-the-art facility was built and never really occupied as a maximum security facility for which it was uh, intended and built because the state of Illinois still owes money on the construction bonds on it. Uh, plus, they've never come up with the money in order so to run it. So, you've alluded to it now twice, Brasley did it, and you did it, that 
with, so these guys, if they're, if it's not a military tribunal that they're going through, they'd be tried in our courts, and that would happen in Rockford. I guess. The, um, when the non-U.S. citizens come from Guantanamo Bay to U.S. soil, they pick up additional constitutional rights. A former uh, uh, Secretary of uh, Former Attorney General Mukasey today was talking about that, including, which I think is the outrageous movement of uh, five people uh, accused of being complicit in 9 11 moving that trial to New York City. I mean, we're not in the business of giving constitutional rights to terrorists. That's the reason that, that Gitmo Bay was set up in the first place. These are terrorists, they should be tried by military tribunals not brought to the United States, not posing a threat of national security, not taking advantage of the Constitution, which they have sworn to destroy because they hate Americans. That's the issue. We want economic growth in Northwest Illinois. We can have it if we change the mind of the President to say, Mr. President, we beg with you. This is your home state. These people are desperately in need of employment. Why subject them to an enhanced threat from terrorists, when all you have to do is give the director of the prisons the $120 million necessary to buy this facility and $85 million a year to operate. 